In this video we'll do a walkthrough of the new uh, calendar component in version 11. In subsequent videos we'll show you actually how the video gets built. So uh, let's go ahead now and uh, open the, uh, the dialog up and then here's our builder and then uh, go to live preview to actually see the uh, calendar in uh, use. So here's our calendar. Right now there are no um, events uh, currently shown. You can see here that we've defined four different calendars um, um, right now. Uh, you can have as many calendars um, as, as you want. So let's start off now and add an event to the calendar. So we just uh, draw the event um, and uh, that then makes an Ajax callback and displays a dialog component where you can um, define the um, event um, uh, property. So I'll go here and just say event1 and you can see that the time has already been filled in uh, based on where you dragged on the calendar component and uh, I'll say that this um, event uh, belongs to say calendar number two and then go ahead there and uh, do my update so you can see there's this event and uh, because it's shown in this uh, uh, teal color we know that it belongs to calendar number two so let's go and add another event over there and just go there and say event two and then do an update then we can go here and edit the duration of that event and that has done an ajax callback and written the data to the server let's go there and add another event let's make this an all day event so we'll go here and say event three and then do an update now you can see let's navigate to a, a different week so we'll click over there and now we're on the week of october the third let's go forward in time so now we're on the week of October the uh, 30th and let's add an event over there. We'll go here and say event 4 and then do an update and then go back to say this week over there and put an event over there and uh, event 5 etc. So now when we go back to say uh, the previous weeks uh, we can see all of the um, events uh, for that date showing up over there. So now we're looking at the data. Um, this is the uh, month view of the data. This is the week view. This is the day view and this is the uh, next four days. Uh, and then uh, this is a, a special view over here. So uh, where we get to see the different calendars. So we've got uh, calendars one through four uh, showing up over there. And on any of the views we can go there and um, add um, uh, uh, information. So let's go here and add a new event to calendar number three and uh, event uh, say uh, set event uh, seven over there. And here's our date time pickers that are built into the dialog component over there. And um, you can see also that in this particular dialog we've added two user-defined fields to the dialog as well. So let's go ahead there and do an update. So I'll go back to our month view, our week view, our day view, uh, next four days, etc. And then this is where we navigate from one uh, uh, week to the next week. And this is how we can go here. And uh, let's go to find this the view that we, well, let's just quickly go here and change that to say calendar number two do an update you can see now so now we're showing all of the calendars but if we turn off calendar number two we've hidden that calendar now we've hidden calendar number one etc so now let's go back to the builder and take a look at uh, how these different options uh, get exposed so we'll go back to the builder here and you can see now in uh, in the builder um, we can specify whether we want the day view the week view the month view uh, the custom view we can see how many different days are going to be displayed in the custom view uh, we can have um, an agenda view a work week view and a work shift view as well so let's go ahead now and try those out but I'm going to pause now and pick this up in the next video